Hello, I am here in Melbourne. It is a city renowned for its vibrant dining and food culture. There are foods from all over the world here. You can dine cheaply, you can dine very expensively. Regardless of the cost, some of the best foods in Australia can be found here in this city. So often when people think of good restaurants, they think of Michelin stars, which is the system of grading restaurants on their quality. The problem is, and here's a fun fact for you, there are actually no Michelin starred restaurants here in Australia. Not that we don't deserve any, it's just that the Michelin guide does not exist in Australia. I think at the moment it only operates in Asia, America and Europe. So no Michelin stars here, but I guess you've seen the title of this video that says I'm taking you to Michelin starred restaurants here today. So I've actually found a loophole. Today we're going to two places, both of which have been awarded Michelin stars in their home country, but have since opened branches here in Melbourne. So, we're going there today. Plus, both of these places claim to have the cheapest Michelin starred food in the world. So, not only are we dining well, we're dining cheaply. Both things that make me very, very excited. <laughs> First up, we're eating Michelin star yum cha here at Tim Ho Wan. It's super, super famous. It's originally from Hong Kong, China, and that's where it originally got its Michelin stars. When it comes to yum cha, it's one of those foods you don't want to go alone. You want to order lots and lots of yummy things that you can share together as a group. So for that reason, I've invited some friends along to experience Tim Ho Wan with me today. Here are my beautiful friends. Hello everyone, my name is Tifa. This is my sister Tina. Hello, I'm Tina. First, I'm going to join Amy. I'm very happy. And I hope we'll have a very fun time. My name is Jun and I met Amy through YouTube. So you guys might remember Jun from a video we did together. His mum taught me how to make la tiao zi. Oh my gosh, so good. Now I want to ask you, you like this place? When I usually go to Yum Cha, I get the uh, Tang Fen. Tang Fen is my favorite. That's my go-to dish. For me, my favorite Yum Cha options, I always have to get myself some barbecue pork buns, probably my favorite ones, but closely followed by the barbecue pork Chang Fen. I particularly like barbecue pork Chang Fen, but I will also go prawn, also very delicious. Um, and we also usually get, you know, the hagao, the prawn dumplings, or the dim sum, their classics. What else do I like? Yeah, it's pretty much my favorites. So the menu here is really curated. It fits onto one page only, which I really love because you kind of know that every dish is really good. So I think it's time to order. So here, what you just write down on the little little piece of paper what we want so what do we want guys I'm gonna say we definitely have to get ourselves some pork, barbecue pork buns um, definitely some chung fen. should we get just barbecue pork or should we get uh, all of them all of them <laughs> <laughs> all of the chung fen. Yeah, yeah. okay well, at least the, I want to try the pig liver apparently that's fine oh okay pig liver chung fen. I've never tried that before yeah. So after I was done ordering the essentials and must-try items at Tim Ho Wan, I gave the order sheet to Jun and the girls to add on anything else they wanted to get. So as I mentioned, Tim Ho Wan is regarded as one of the cheapest Michelin-starred restaurants in the world. And as you can see looking at this menu, the prices are very reasonable. Like free barbecue pork buns for $8, you know, prawn dumplings, $8.50. It's like you can come here and afford a really good meal. So as a result, we are ordering a shit ton of food. <laughs> So, long story short, Jun ended up adding quite a few extra dishes to our order card. We literally ordered at least one serve of everything on the menu. It wasn't long before our first dish of the day arrived, the pork buns. This here is probably Tim Ho Wan's most famous dish. This is a really unique looking pork bun. Very excited. As Jun said, this is a very unique looking pork bun. I'm used to seeing them more fluffy on the outside, the typical pork bun look, but these, yeah, look a bit harder shell, almost like there's sugar in that. It smells really good. Yeah. More flaky. More flaky on the outside. It's kind of a mixture between like a sweet and a savory dish. And the meat itself just you can still see the chunks of meat in that. What's 
喜欢呀。So we have here not one but two portions of chicken feet because Jun likes them. I hope that Jun has a good appetite because there's a lot of food coming today. It smells very nice. Oh, you've also ordered, guys. This is crazy. Also two turnip cakes. Oh my gosh. We, 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 我超级期待吃我的最爱 I've developed a real love for chicken feet I really like the taste, I like the collagen-iness yeah. And one thing I don't like about chicken feet is they're so annoying to eat So many bones. There is an obscene amount of food on the table and the dishes just keep coming. We've just received another of our chung fern, our vermicelli rolls. Oh my goodness. Jun, do you think we're gonna be able to finish all of this? Oh, no problem at all. <laughs> <laughs> so this here has arrived. It is the chung fen with it was a pig liver? Pig liver. Pig liver. Um, so I'm very curious to try that. I've never tried a chung fen with pig liver in it before. Let's see how it tastes. Okay guys, bottoms up. Pig liver chung fen. Yum. <laughs> it's good. This one here. This looks really really pretty. Hey Jun, do you remember what this one is? The one of sesame sauce. Sesame sauce. Well, it looks amazing. <laughs> Yum. That's so good. Mm. Yeah, you have to order that when you come here. It's like salty, really sweet. The texture of those rice rolls are amazing. It's like, honestly, it's like eating a pillow. My time to try. This is the Pidanjo, the century egg congee. This may be contentious, this may be controversial, but jo, congee isn't my favorite thing to eat. I don't know, I like it when I'm sick. I find it very warming, but I'm not gonna, I, never have I gone out of my way to like get jo, you know, because I feel like it. But you know, that can change. Taste buds are always evolving, but for now, here is our Pidanjo. I have a piece of Pidan there in case you are wondering if I'm just skipping the Pidan, I'm not, I'm eating it. The jaw is very salty, soft, warming. It's like a warm hug. It's nice. And the pidan, honestly, you don't taste it. It's just some texture. So yeah, don't be afraid. You get it. But we still have some really interesting things that I want to try here. Particularly this one. It's the steamed cake. I've actually never tried it before when I've been to Yum Cha. I've always seen it. And it's been one of those things that I'm like, nah, next time, next time, next time. But today, this is the day to try steamed cake. But you did this I not uh -huh. Okay, well, <laughs> it seems that it's not just me, it's all of our first time trying this steamed cake today. So I'm gonna cut it off. Very spongy. <laughs> very, very spongy. It smells really good. Mm. So soft. Mm. It's really good. It's good. Like, it's not going to change the world, there's nothing like wham-bam about it, but like, it's tasty. I feel like this would be a nice palate cleanser. Very soft and not overly sweet. Wow, it's so soft. Wow.
因为一般那个澳洲人的口味比较偏甜嘛，喜欢甜食嘛。Amy， 我们有一个朋友，他是你的超级粉丝，然后我刚刚就是发那个微信给他，他说他现在想要 face with face video with you now。那、oh、这、uh, is hilarious。你好，我已经连线了。哦哦 ，My gosh， Hi。And we continue to make our way through our delicious dishes: custard tarts, more chicken feet, glutinous rice in lotus leaf, and at some point, only a few dishes remain, thanks largely to Jun. What's your fullness capacity, Jun? About fifty percent. You're fifty percent. You still have fifty percent more you could eat. Okay. Holy whoa! That's awesome. You would make a good food vlogger or a mukbanger. Thinking about it. <laughs> so we're going to continue making our way through this delicious food here. Really, really enjoying our Tim Hortons experience. Would recommend it for people who want to eat well but also cheaply. Really comparable to the stuff I had in Hong Kong. Very, very authentic. And yeah. Thanks to Tim Hortons for having me. Next stop. Well, you'll see. Ah, stop number two. We are here at Hawker Chan, which comes from Singapore, and they're famous for their roast meats. I believe most famously their soya sauce chicken. That's what they got the Michelin star for. And guess who I found? Look who's joining me today. In Melbourne. Yay! Mum and Dad just flew down to Melbourne last night, so we will be making this half of the video together. Blonde is dad and blonde is mum in Melbourne. In Melbourne. Yes. First time on a plane in a year and a half. <laughs> How to feel? Uh, weird. So just to update you guys on what this video is all about, basically I'm showing two of Melbourne's Michelin star restaurants that were awarded Michelin stars in their home country, and they both happen to be cheap Michelin star restaurants. It's a cheap place to get a good meal that's you know being rated very highly. So this is one of them. It's very no frills. There are no actual staff members coming around and taking orders. You go up the front, you order, and then you take it back to your own table. Happy man, he's in his happy place right now. I'm ready, the real estate is empty. So I'm just here at the menu, gonna order for us. So I think I'm just gonna get one of the one of each of the main big things. So obviously I have to get myself some of the soya chicken, that's what the restaurant got its Michelin star for. Also need to get some char siu, that's probably my favorite of the roast meats. Um, the roast pork here I hear is also really good. And I think they have a new menu item that I was recommended, which is the crispy roast duck. So can I get one of the soya chicken? With rice or noodle? What would you recommend? Noodle. Noodle. Is that the most famous with noodle? Yep. Okay. The soya chicken with noodle. Noodle. The char siu. You want a premium char siu or the char siu? Or what would you recommend? For premium because it's fat and juicy. Yeah, I like fat and juicy. Yeah. Rice or noodle? What would you recommend? Stock rice. Maybe you can try stock rice. Yeah, stock rice. Also the roast pork. And also the crispy duck, but can I get like half or a quarter? Yeah, sure. or? Pretty good. We've ordered one of each of the meats, and all of it has come to total fifty dollars, which I think is pretty good. Wow. So yeah, it really half is quite cheap. Half a duck is twenty-one dollars. Half a duck, yeah, twenty-one dollars. You're not the only one taking pictures of the food today. No. I think we should just start first with this one, which is the one it's famous for. Okay. So this is the soya chicken with noodles. You know, that's like being tortured. You put the duck in front of me and then we have to put it over the other side. All right. Oh boy. Have to boy. start eating with the Michelin yes. star food. <laughs> it looks like a very moist piece of chicken. It's served with some sauce here, which is... What's that? The XO, isn't it? It's fishy. It's like an XO sauce. Oh. What's XO stand for? I don't know. <laughs> Neither do I. Extraordinary? <laughs> so I think get some of that sauce. Oh, yeah. Are yeah. okay, you ready? Oh, it's so juicy. Oh my god. It's good with the sauce. The sauce is marvelous. Without the sauce, I, it'd just be a really nice, well cooked <coughs> piece of chicken, I guess. Mm. Nice, juicy oh. piece of chicken. But these noodles. Yeah, so apparently they, it's famous to order it with the noodles. Okay. Mm. 
Oh, I think I'm gonna try the three things together because you've got that salty sauce. What's wrong? Your chopsticks are the one right now. <laughs> bum, bum. So I'm gonna try some of that salty sauce with that sweet noodle Ooh. and some of that tender chicken and see what that does inside my mouth oh. at the same time. Mm. Yeah, I feel like that's how it's meant to be eaten there. Yeah, it's like the size of that chicken. Oh Here we go. my gosh. <laughs> oh. Could you possibly get any more into your mouth at one time? Mm. Was it good? It was good. So next dish of the day, this one is not Michelin star, but I'm sure it will still be quite delicious. Ooh, it's good. the char siu with the, um, the, the the chicken rice, I guess you could call it. <laughs> In Dad's defense, picking up rice with chopsticks can get very awkward. So we found some spoons and all was well in the world. Mm. I love chicken rice. Mm. It's very easy to digest. Pork is very nice. Yeah. The pork is really good. Pork like a, is really juicy. It's like a combination between a thick slice of bacon and, and a thin slice of pork. I asked for the fatty char siu. They asked me, do you want lean or do you want fatty? I say fatty. <laughs> is that because it's juicier? Because it tastes better. Ah, it's <laughs> it's very, really very, nice. very tender. It's lovely. Mm. And that fatty bit is almost translucent. Look, Ooh, look at up in the sky. It looks good. Yeah, we're going to go now for the mm. roast pork. Um, it looks delicious. I'm very excited to get into that. Crunchy. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Mm. I wish I could cook pork belly like that. That that crackling, that crunch is just crazy good. Really good. Mm. Let's now go to our grand finale for our Hawker Chan experience. Ooh. The roast duck, which looks absolutely delicious. Fine. I think we've saved maybe the best for last. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. That looks amazing. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the best roast duck I've ever had. It's a bit oily. It's a bit oily, mm -hmm. but for twenty dollars for yeah, half a duck, it's pretty good. I'm gonna say it's pretty good. I'm still gonna eat it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the moral of the story is you can definitely come to Hawker Chan, get yourself a good meal, cheap meal. If I was walking by and wanted some lunch, absolutely. Come in and have any one of those dishes. It's really nice. If you like this video, give it half a like because we're only in half of it. <laughs> Can you do that? Yeah, 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 you know what, you can try and on the way you can just give us a full like. Yeah, give, give her a full like. <laughs> That's it from us. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.